Hello, I'm Kel Dox, and welcome to day 35 of my free to play series of Raid Shadow Legends. I want to start with some faction war stuff today. I've been in, I've put the ARS up to level 5, through a couple of levels on her, with some common champions that were lying around. And I'm thinking that's going to be the key to trying to get some more of the faction wars ticked off with 3 stars. And we're only approaching a rare book at the moment, but the, the more progress we make now, the less we'll have to worry about later. I've already lined up a team, using the ARS that's geared, the one that's sitting aside for the Razen Fusion, and just three randoms that were lying around. Boot jumps. For these early stages, I'm hoping to use this extra turn if she kills, to be able to just punch my way through. Seems she can farm stage 3 and she can do it on auto, so it's not a complete burst. I was hoping for at least 4 or 5, but I guess she doesn't quite have the gear yet. If she had the masteries for hitting harder and going faster on her A1, then we'll probably do it. So I'll have to claim this lot up soon before, well, not too soon. Much earlier today, and the NG here as well. So halfway through these keys. I'll finish through the High Elves keys and then I'll use the Lizardman one up, get that uh, advanced quest done. Got most of them done. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do this Defeat of Faction Wars boss, neither of them are ready for that. But we should be able to do this classic arena. Last one to take off is this one. I'll get this done and we'll have a look at what we're going to use the energy on. I'm thinking either some more Minotaur or maybe using some Void Time while it's open. I'm going to check to see if I have enough for the next Justicia for that champion chase. Seems I've already done one dungeon run so far, so let's go play with the dragon. Taker was just here for levels, so since she's maxed out, ARS goes in. Now that's all claimed up with the one I got from the potion runs yesterday. Got 30 ancient shards waiting to go. So let's see, first of all, if we need the void potions. The void's probably fine. I'm just going to test to see if we can get any favour up the current run of them. If not, well, we'll know where we're going from. Uh, it's already at 13, which is the next milestone, so we'll leave that as that. I think I'm just going to use the energy on a mix between the campaign farming and the minnow, as I've been doing so far. I don't think it'll take too much longer now before I can push over and do this 15. I think once these two get a bit further along, I mean, the high cartoon is useful as well, but I think these two are the bigger sort of part to play. Or if I can get a nice defense or HP chest for the Kale from the Dragon Runs, I'm slowly making sure I get a few in every day as well. So I'll run this for the 11, then I'll hit up the campaign for a bit. 
We're now into day 36. I've got this another shot. I've got the energy ready to go, and I've already done most of the daily. Well, I've done all the daily. I've done these ones from the weekly, but I'm leaving that energy for the upcoming fusion event. I would have left obviously the previous one, but I had to do the end of week. So they're ready to go. From the monthly, I'm hoping to get the last of these um, arena fights done and out of the way so that I can have that energy to pull. And then just make me way now through the advanced quests. So I've made sure I leave a bit more time today to try and get these done instead of leaving them till the last minute. So let's jump in and do three dungeons. I want to try and push up through the spider for one of the three dungeons. Because we've now got this armager for the turn meter control. All I need to do is hope that I can hit the spiderlings enough that she can't heal too much. This time I'm going to be more careful and I'm going to use the freeze against one of the spidelings so hopefully he'll freeze most of them up because if I use it on here she only, he only attacks the boss. I'm not going to use the nukes, I don't want to risk hitting these two with the burn because that will take away some of the advantage from this burn on here. Since she's going to get a turn next, eat these, I will now risk doing them. Definitely wouldn't have worked on auto. <laughs> I think if I was going to try and auto it, it'd have to be stage 9. With him hitting the weak hits and not always proccing. No, I, mean, I could probably swap out the spirit horse to make them a bit faster by bringing in the high cartoon for the boost. I only left in the spirit horse for the option of trying to time it right to get her block debuffs. But it'll only be in one turn, you could try to time it right, it's just too awkward, so I don't think that'll happen. I could try the stage 11 because the armor will be more effective, but I'm thinking I'll see if I can set a team that can do 9 on auto for now and try and find a way to beat through here within the next few days because there's bound to be a spider event in this fragment fusion and it'll take uh, all of that energy I've got stockpiled to farm it up in spider like 9. Seems we've got two missions to be in the clan boss, so one to survive 20 turns and one to use two keys. One thing that might help with the spider is if I replace the War Maiden with a second Nuka with a delay and that's possible now because yesterday opening up some of the mystery shards I got an Aethel and all of the starter champs are good for nuking. You can use them as your you know, campaign farmer, you, you can use them in all these areas and she'll also be able to handle Sacred Order crypt for at least the first few levels solo. So I've started her straight down to the level and just add her in with the food Probably going to try and get her up to four, um, five star reasonably quick and use that as a, a basically the, the level to, to use her at for a while since I'm a long way from getting jewelry enough to need the banners and all those things because the extra nuke would be really useful. I could change Kale to dedicate him to Clan Boss and have him just you know focusing on his accuracy and his speed and I could have her build for the, the nukeage, put her into the arena and the um, campaign farming if, if need be. 
or I could just add her into the arena as a second nuke and take out the War Maiden since she's going too late to use the defense down anyway. So there's options there. So I'm going to quickly run through the clan boss and then we'll pick up the next mission. So there's the two keys done and the 20 turns. Five silver keys is nice and easy. We'll just run straight through here on this magma dragon. Five times, let's go. The next three missions are nice and easy. I'm going to do these three here. So one more accessory upgrade attempt, a perception artifact, and a classic arena fight from a single affinity. I can see during the artifact enhancements I've been rolling things like this up just to get the points in. Oh, another step closer to that legendary book. I know I should be putting books into the ninja. But I figure until I've got at least the minimum number of books needed to get his A2 cooldown decreased, there's no point because I might get a legendary I want to use more in the meantime. So that's why I haven't been putting any of these books in yet, because until I can get down to this cooldown, uh, I, I don't mind the, the percentage chance he's got here, it's already quite reasonable. He lands it more often than he doesn't at 75%, so I'm happy to wait for that until I've got a chance for the cooldown. I'm going to use the rest of the time of, for today just running through some dragon runs to finish off the fusion warm up. Apparently, I haven't done enough gear today, probably because I've been mostly fighting in the Minotaur. So, I'll use the rest of the energy up in there for now. I'm going to wrap up the video. Thank you very much for watching day 35 and 36 of my free to play series, and I'll see you all next time for some more Raid Shadow Legends.